Now we have the matrix and given a right hand side, we can solve the equation for u. So let's just try it. What kind of right hand side would you like to try? Anybody give a suggestion? Huh? A sinusoidal one? Okay, so you want F to be sine of what? Huh? X times Y. So we don't have any X or Y yet. So let's do this. Uh, let's construct the X and Y. So uh, is mesh grid in 2D? Yeah, okay, so so let's let's look at I think mesh grid is what can help you to construct a, a X and Y. It returns a 2D grid coordinate based on vectors X and Y. So okay, so let's say X is equal to 1, 2, and X minus 1 uh, times dx. Y is equal to 1, 2, and Y minus 1. Come on, minus 1 times dy. Okay, and I think that's it. I think just uh, do big X and big Y equal to mesh grid X and Y. So let's see if I get the right thing. Uh, big X is going to be a 31 by 31 matrix. So uh, it's actually the opposite of what I wanted to get. So, so I want, so this is the first index. I want the first index to correspond to the x direction. I want the second index to correspond to the y direction. So, um, so let me just uh, switch them over. I will just do y and x, all right? So this index corresponds to the x direction. This corresponds to the y direction. That's, uh, that's what we had in this indexing, right? So the first index corresponds to incrementing x. Uh, the second index corresponds to incrementing y. So if you look at y, it's it's the other way. It's going this way. All right. So uh, I think uh, uh, you wanted the f equal to sine x times cosine y or something. All right. So we get an f that is 31 by 31. How do you convert the 31 to 31 matrix into, into this? Huh? So if you do mat to back, is it? Yeah, I think reshape is the best uh, approach, but like in order to reshape it to into the format w of what we want, because MATLAB does it the other way, right? So, so we need to do uh, we need to reshape it. Of let's let's actually let's actually make big F equal to sine x times cos and y so that big f is a is an, a matrix and let's do small f equal to ratio shape of f transpose into nx minus 1 times ny minus 1 and 1 all right so let's see uh huh actually i don't think I can see much from that. Okay, so so let's say sine of x times cosine of y. So in the beginning, in the beginning of the matrix, uh, of the vector, I should have i equal to once, right? So I should have i equal to one, and j increases. So I should have a very small number because it's sine of a very small x times. A slowly decaying number. So let's see if that's what I get. Uh, okay. I think that's right. Right. So this is like sine of delta x times cosine of delta x, cosine of 
2 delta x, cosine of 3 delta x, etc. All right. So from the eyes inspection, it looks right. We can also create a surface plot of big F. Let's do x, y, and f. So that's my what my f looks like. So we can do x label, x, y label, y. That'll give me, so this is x, this is y, and the z axis is, of course, my f. All right. So I think it's the right trend. x increases, the sine function increases, and the cosine function decreases. So now I have my small f. Let's do u is equal to matrix backslash f. I get my u. All right. How do I visualize my u? I get my u, which is a, a 961 by 1 array. So I need to re reshape it back to a matrix before I can visualize it. So let's say my big U is equal to raised shape of small u. And again, MATLAB, we need to do, we need to make it and y minus 1 first and x minus 1 transpose all right so so when we reshape that way we transpose first and then reshape it in in the reverse in the inverse operation we need to reshape it into the transposed shape of f and then uh, transpose it back so let's do the same surf but now with you that's what my solution looks like. Okay. The Laplace of this U is equal to F. So the Laplace, which means the X, the second order derivative of X plus the second order derivative of Y. It's some kind of curvature in 2D. And the positive Laplace curves in a convex way so curves this is what a positive Laplacian looks like and if you rotate it a little bit let's maximize and rotate it a little bit you should also be able to see that the curvature is larger towards this side right towards the towards the uh, x equal to 1 y equal to 0 side so let's do x label y label so x equal to 1, y equal to 0 side. You see, like the, uh, the, the bottom of this function shifts. It's not in the center. It shifts towards the x equal to 1, y equal to 0 side. That's because the, the curvature is larger in this side. And if you, if, you, uh, if you remember the figure we used uh, to look at y, so this is what y looks like. It's largest over here. This is what, ooh, what did I do? Uh, I think I, all right, okay. If you look at this figure, it's the curvature is largest over, over here. All right. So this, we completed the loop of uh, solving a Poisson's equation in 2D. And uh, that gives us a solution like that.